So I've started a new um, publisher document here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a model. I'm actually going to search Fusion. And I'm going to do some search for this padlock so I can insert it into the view here. So this is an existing model. It's just an inventor model that I uploaded into Fusion 360. And now I'm going to insert that um, into my publisher file here. Now it's just going to take a second here. And then what we're going to see is that there is a default storyboard here with a default step. And notice that it did bring in the structure. So we can see that there's all the particular components in there and they were turned off in the Fusion file because I was working on it. So I've just changed the view there. So I've just dragged ahead, um, you know, a couple seconds here and I'm changing the view so I can dynamically see this, how it's going to work. So let's just rotate this around a little bit. So since I've, I've saved that view, whoops, let's just bring that back. Now that I've saved my view, let's add another snapshot. And this snapshot, let's actually start moving some, some components. So again, I'm just dragging the time ahead a couple seconds. And what we're gonna do is, is come in here and actually move. So we'll take this latch here, and we'll just move this up. And notice how easy it is with the, with the manipulator um, and how I can actually specify real distance as well. So if you've used the manipulator in Fusion, you're gonna have no problem using this in, in, the, in the publisher um, 360 as well. Okay, so I've added another view. So I'm gonna rotate this around. And maybe in this case, what we should do is maybe turn a couple parts off. So we're trying to show an assembly instruction here. So we'll turn a couple parts off because we're done with them. We've shown that those, those, that part's already moved. So again, I just slid it up a little bit further. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these components a little bit more. So I've dragged two components, I'm just clicking and dragging. Then I'll just hold down the shift key and, and I could deselect a component too. All right, so it looks like we got a pretty good start here. Um, let's do a move on this, this catch here component. We'll move it out and, and up a little bit. And let's add another snapshot and we'll turn these components off. And let's zoom in here a little bit. So we got these internal components. So we can see these, these various components here. So let's take a couple of these. Well, <laughs> you can see that it is beta. So some of these components aren't turning on even though they're supposed to be there. So instead of using the move, let's use the explode function here. And I've just exploded it one level and we can see how easy it is to, to click and drag. It needs a little bit of effort here because it'd be nice if you could actually specify the fixed component. So maybe one component becomes fixed and everything explodes about it. But it's 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 as good as any auto explode. So I'm just gonna move these out a bit and then we could auto explode it to to change the position of them. So then I could, like I said, auto explode those to get those. Okay, so hopefully you can see here how easy it was. Whoops. <laughs> Did I mention that it was beta? Um, it is beta, so you can see that it did it did crash there. But hopefully you can see here how easy it was for me to go in there and insert an existing model from Fusion I had uploaded. And in this case, it happened to be inventor inventor model. So how easy it was. Now, there's not a lot of components, but it was fairly quick to drop that in. It created a default snapshot or storyboard with a default snapshot and how easy it was for me to create multiple steps in there. So create the multiple snapshots um, and how easy it was to go in there and, and change the view and have that snap, snapshot automatically capture that change in view per each kind of step. And then using the particular, using the move manipulator, how easy it was to, to move the components. Now there's no trails, that would be a nice thing too, um, but it'll all come in time.